hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide how are you how are you doing in your corner of the world i pray you're doing well sending you the purest of love and light as always god is for us and because he is who can be against us and so let's get right into uh the message if it's your first time welcome returning soul travers thank you thank you for your likes your subscription your comments i appreciate you so very much so we have here the south node there will not be so some of you could be worrying about certain things i, I think maybe some of you there's a decision that you have to make you need to make and it's like whenever you have to stress so much or overthink it's almost as if it's going you're going in the south node it's like you're pulling yourself back because you're allowing your anxiety to bring you down to cast doubt as to what it is that you need to do uh pre-shuffling i saw you know it's like it's it's time to make a decision or you're trying to make a decision as to what is as to something that is very important to you something that you need to do it's like you know when it comes to it could be your stability your foundation your security and uh, you know this is what the south node is all about it's troubling because the truth is that and if you believe god says why worry when you can pray and i know we're humans you know you see physically the things that you're up against what is happening to you and so but the thing is is to realize that or realizing that we don't have to carry these burdens alone and that's also the comfort the reassurance that you have that you know that you don't have to do this all by yourself that God wants to help you and he's going to help you with that. So we have the South Node and then right behind it, we have the North Node. So it's good getting out of that. Maybe that is somewhere, something in the past could be happening now or, you know, just future to, you know, what's up ahead. And the North Node is definitely the opposite of that. There will be. You know, is speaking affirmation, being positive, even though you don't see it, is having faith, is having hope that there will be success from whatever it is you're working on, whatever it is that you're thinking about, it is going to be okay. It's going to pay off, benefit, you know, have faith, don't worry about it. And now is the time to do something. Now is the time to plant that seed. Now is the time to move on faith, by faith. Because it says this is the fourth house. And this talks about your security, your stability. So for some of you, you could have been worrying in the past or maybe you're having it now about your home base, your family. And so you're, you're called to or you're trying to make decisions that make you feel secure you're asking yourself what is it that makes you feel secure also your support your home base or your family so it's about your stability your home life your security your job your community you know and so a lot of you with the mars here you're confronting a lot of those things you're forcing yourself to make some decisions right now or you're called to do that. And of course, it's like, yes, you start worrying and then it's that cloud that is over you. But then what is beautiful is that when you're able to have faith, it's like you will see those clouds, they part over you. From over your mind the illusions the lies that the enemy wants to show you as to what is not going to work out and all of this stress you realize it's a lie and you can do all things through christ who gives you strength you understand so that is you pushing through and that is faith 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 is the substance 
It's, it's the glue. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things that you have not yet seen. And faith is the spiritual currency. On earth, you use dollars and cents, well, to access, to tap into what God has for you. It's faith. It takes faith. It's having that firm, unshakable, unbreakable faith that even when people around you say it's not going to happen, you just know your God so much that he's going to make a way out of no way. Even if it's not the way how you plan it out to be A to Z, but you know he's going to come through in time and on time for you because that's the kind of God he is. That's who he is. So yeah, so you started out. So for some of you with the South Node, you know, being in anxiety, you could have been faced with a lot of choices, a lot of options, a lot of decisions, which road to take, what to do, options and all of this stuff to choose wisely, confirmation. And so for a lot of you, if you are in this place right now, you're called to choose wisely. Look at the long term. What is going to serve you better? What is going to, again, not only for you, but, you know, it's like for God, what is pleasing? Because I see that's number seven. You know, like that's God's number of completion that in the end, you know, with the wisdom here at the back, it's like that wise choice, you know, that when you look at it, you, you will leave a legacy for your, your, your children's children, you know, having that book of wisdom. So it's like whatever you're choosing, whatever you're building, make sure that it's built on firm, firm foundation. See, it has split the deck memories of love. So when you leave this earth, you know, it's memories. It's like people can know you were here. You know, it's like you're leaving a legacy, something that will not only impact your generations, but also the world. It's, it's you know, so yeah. So make sure whatever you're doing, again, patience. And I know this is, this is a curse word. <laughs> you know, when you talk about divine timing and 14, that's five, it's about change. You know, it's having that seed and nurturing it, you know, cradling it, watering it, you know, but it will pay off. You know, it's like, that's the hope you have that whatever it is that you're building with under the North node here, you know, look, and right behind it, we have obstacles and challenges. It's like in spite of whatever it is that you're working on, you're walking and then you, th you know, you're thinking all is well. And then, oops, it's a detour. It's a roadblock. Whether it's man-made or just life happening. Sometimes it's God-made too. You know, because God wants to turn us around because where we're going. So sometimes even if God allows the enemies to create challenges and roadblocks in our way, it's because he has a better way for us. And sometimes that's what we don't understand. It's like, why is it that these things are happening? But it's also to realize that God will cause the enemy or enemies to do things. But in the end, it's going to work out for us it's going to work out for us and this is why the enemy or the enemies they always end up being sore losers because they work so hard they work so hard they put their life at risk to you know walk out here cutting this breaking something trying to create roadblock in your life i mean for christ's sake i mean some of them by the time they're done they probably fell right in the ditch down below and that is what is going to happen in the end. Whatever sword they set up for you, they're going to end up sitting right on that sword. You understand? And this is why they're going to end up being so defeated again. Because it's like they did all of that for nothing. But we can't tell them that. They're too dumb. It's like, <laughs> you know, they're blinded by their ego. And 
the obsession to control and to stop and to block and to break. You know, it's like... Yeah, you're going to have the memory scarred fell out again. You know, the love, the support. And this, because this is about your fourth house here. You know, your home, your stability, your job, your career, your community. Whatever it is, you're going to have memories of love. Like the saying goes, it's not how we start, it's how we finish. And it's like finish strong. And with the Mars card here, it talks about action confronting your fear you know what is driving you and again some of you you're probably at a place or you're called to question yourself the thing or the things that we're going after what is driving us is it our ego is it because we really you know you're greedy and this is what i'm saying is like even for these even, even if it's people behind the scenes who are trying to make something look so challenging and to create obstacles in your life you know what is it that's driving them only they can answer that question but sometimes we need to ask why are we going that direction why are we pursuing certain relationships you know what i mean and and that way we can see too if if it's worth it is it worth it is it worth it yeah, it's like I'm telling you, number four again, foundation and achievement. When it comes to your foundation, you're, you leave in a legacy, you know, the rainbow, that's the hope, that's the promise that God has for you, you know, your family. It's like it's already done. It's already done, but, you know, God knows, he understands, you know, for a lot of you, you know, a lot of us, we're human beings and so yes we're gonna be confronted with you know things and we're gonna have fears but it's, it's not allowing those fears to overcome you remember fear is false evidence appearing real false it's a lie and it gets your heart rate up it gets your blood pressure up you start stressing and doing and all these other things come over it you know in everything you pray about it you may have decisions and choices that you need to make you know it's like trust your intuition here trust your intuition because it's like you you already know it's like don't allow whatever you're going through to trap you in fear because that's what the enemy wants you know to kill steal and destroy to affect your your base chakra here to rob you of your joy your passion you know to have you in heartache and loss and temptation here you know the enemy wants to put your light out it's like don't don't allow that again patience and planning Patience and planning. Everything in prayer. Make your requests known unto God. You know, whatever it is, the material harvest, it is going to pay off for you. It is going to pay off for you. Okay, so, you know, just be open to what God has in store for you. Just be open. Yeah, two of swords. You know, confusion. Like I said, you have many choices. You feel like you're trapped. You're 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 trapped. You're stuck. And God is here to break the circle, to lift opposing barriers and bring you victory. This is why your angels are here to break this circle, break this habit, whatever it is that you have, because the the south node is really. A low vibration you know with fear and toxicity bad behavior is like you know before you were awakened kind of thing the obsession wanting things to go your way I mean just all the negative bad behavior codependency before you start working on yourself you're trapped in those places 
And God is here to lift that. He's, he's here to break that circle and to lift the opposing barriers. We saw before the challenges and the obstacles. So whatever it is that's having you stuck or trapped, whatever it is, you have different options, whether it's with, with, with partners, with careers, with habits or behaviors. Yes, I'm telling you, prayer works and prayer changes everything. The fool, this is the faith card. This is taking that leap of faith will and new beginnings god is here to assist you with difficult and great undertakings so whatever it is because see when when you're in your north node it's like now you're more enlightened you're coming into who you are and whose you are and you is like you survive so many things against all odds so you know that god is for you and because he's for you, who can be against you? You know that you are, you are highly protected. And so this is why, and you're blessed. And so whatever it is that you're called to take a leap of faith on, you're being patient. God is patient with you. And those new beginnings, it will happen because North Node and South Node is two completely different realms. It's like as far as the East is from the West, they will never meet. So it's like it takes work. It takes leaving some, some really toxic behaviors, breaking some curses, some habits, leaving people, places, and things behind that no longer serves you. This is you having a fresh start. This is like you walking away, leaving everything, moving to a whole new country, a whole new state. You don't know anybody. Taking a leap of faith, knowing that God will work it out. Leaving a job, walking away when probably you don't even know where the other dime is coming from or even making that change to another department getting another job somewhere even though it's new and you know the fear of meeting new people and starting all over again relationship the same way romantic or platonic it's giving these things a chance and knowing that god has your best interests at heart and so he's here to help you with difficult and great undertakings all those roadblocks all those hurdles that you had to face oppositions yes and yet still you went anyway you did it anyway yes you best believe that god is gonna show up and he's going to show out for you he will and look the sun i'm telling you they can't stop you from shining it doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter how thick the cloud is, how rainy it is, because as soon as the cloud let out that water, it must dissipate, it must pass. And the sun is still there, right in its place. Never move, doesn't move for anybody. This is abundance. This is also the clarity that you're getting about this message right now that God will restore. He, the, yes, he's going to restore unto you everything, the canker worm, the palmer worm, and the caterpillar, everything that they have eaten up or stolen from you, everything that the enemy stole from you, God is going to return it to you. Double, triple, tenfold. Again, the greater the burden, the greater the blessing. And see, people will look at your life and, boy, you're struggling. Boy, life is hard with you. But then it's like when they see that you're, you're, you survive and how God is blessing you, then they're going to have something else to say. They're going to even want to be jealous of you. And they saw how you were struggling. But because you persevered, you didn't lose sight of who you are again and whose you are. Because you're chosen, you're a royal priesthood, you're a generational curse breaker, you're an earth angel, you're a spiritual bait, you're a spiritual warrior. God sent you into the toughest battles, and so he'll reward you greatly. 
So if you are, you were, or in the future, anything come up where you're struggling, you're stressing about things, just like the song says, turn your eyes upon Jesus. And the things of this world, they will grow strangely dim. They will decrease. And just know that when life have you on your back, just look up. Just look up. Just look up. If you land on your side, if you can just find the strength to fall on your back, just look up. If your back is against the wall or when it does, just look up. And if even all you can cry out is Jesus, and even if it's just a tear that you can shed, because see, tears, it's a language. Even if you can just moan or groan, yes, God understands everything. Nothing misses him. Nothing misses him because he's going to reward you abundantly. Yes, Talking about the fourth house, memories of love. You were worrying about the people, places, and things you have to leave behind. Meeting new people, meeting new friends. Yes, when God does it, it's well done. He's going to give you what you need. What you need. He's going to provide for you what is important and vital and necessary for you to survive. The people who will help you. Who will bless you. Who will nurture you. You don't have to fight. Like in the south node. You don't have to be toxic. This is no worrying about people. You know putting you as options. And third parties. And competition. And all of this jealousy. No, 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 no. Equal give and take. You're showing up with your cup full and running over. So is everybody else. You're not lacking. Neither are they. So this is why God is here to restore your life. And to protect you from adversaries, rabies and wild bees. He's here to protect you from anything that is, will cause disturbance or destruction to your life. And remember those challenges and obstacles that the enemies, they planned and set up for you? Yeah, God is here to protect you. I'm telling you, you're highly protected. If you're a part of this tribe, yes, you are highly protected. Yeah, with this Ace of Pentacles, woo, Ten of Cups and Ace of Wands. Oh my goodness. It gets better. Divine blessings. Drive away evil spirits. Rules agricultural production. So it's like everything you touch is going to prosper. Your seeds. See with the patience card here. Whatever you're working on. You know. If you can see it. Whatever you're working on. Whatever your hand touches. It's going to prosper. Because here you are in. It's like you're in alignment with God. On the other side, you were on the devil's side. You know, it's like some of you, you were faced with choices. You know, two roads before you pick your choice. Everybody else heading down that broad road. They don't even know why they're going down there, but it just look cool because everybody else is heading there. And you decided to take the path, the road less traveled. And that's what brought you or will bring you to the North Node. To your well done good and faithful servant. Because everything that you were worrying about. Having to stress about on the other side. Over here you know that God provides and he takes care of you. Even if for some of you you may be saying. Well it's not coming in waga waga the way you want it. You know it's like you want it to be dripping. But you are blessed more than you know. You are blessed. So God is here and he will, whatever it is, divine blessings because you're a child, you're a son or a daughter. You're God's favorite son or daughter. I mean, it's like he doesn't miss you. You see that eye? It's always on you. Ten of cups. This is your happiness. 
This is your abundance. This is your family. Again, divine warrior. I didn't even look at it. Like I said, for a lot of you, you're spiritual warriors. And he's here to confound the wicked and bring victory and peace to you. He's here to shut down the wicked people. Ace of Wands, you know, the patient God. Fertility and multiplicity. I'm telling you, multiply everything. Your, your generation, new seed. And he's here to protect against despair and helps one be patient. Again, another patient card. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount upon wings like eagles. You will run and not be weary. You are going to walk and not faint. And I know, yes, it's not easy to wait upon God, but I'm telling you, when he does it, it's well done. When he does it, it is well done. It is well done. So some of you, you are open, you know, with these choices here. You know, it's like making your decision. Be open to receive divine guidance in relationships. So for some of you in, in, your, in that south node, you know, it could have been the people who are in your life. And you prayed, you had choices to make. Again, could be romantic, platonic, business partners. But you were open to divine guidance, his direction. And so with that, you know, yes, you had a lot of tests. Your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. Maybe it's, it's happening now. Or, you know, again, confirmation or in the future. But whatever, you know, it's passing the test, you know, that fool's leap of faith, you know, is like you're on the brink. You know, we saw the card with the broken bridge, with the challenge, with the obstacles, you know, it's like, are you going to stay there and cry over what you lost? You're going to stay stuck in the past or are you going to turn around you know, make a new decision, go follow a new direction. And then here we have the 1111. It says it's an important number for twin flames symbolizing harmony and balance in soulmates. I'm telling you, this is your fourth house, your stability, your home life, your marriage, your relationship. Some of you could be seeing 1111 too. You know, so yeah, whatever it is for you, it means for you. With the sun and the memories in love. Yeah. You know, it's like you're going to look back at it. And, 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 and when it's all said and done, it's like it was worth it after all, child. It was worth the risk. It was worth the wait. Whatever it is, it was worth it. Because now you're able to attract. The appeal of soul pairing goes beyond superficiality. So you're able to attract that higher level soulmate partnership, kingdom spouse, you know, that home, whatever it is, because now you're in alignment with God. You're in alignment. We are here. Earth is, is cool. We're here. We're to live and to learn, to pass tests, you know, to see, are you going to sit it out? Are you going to keep pushing in spite of? This is about spiritual. This is spiritual warfare. Everything, it's about spiritual. The things, the people who are sent in our life are, you know, for things to happen to us. Even the horrible things. Because in the South Node, it's like, it's a very toxic, it's a bad place to live, to work, to do life. Very toxic. You get hurt there. People take advantage, disadvantage of you over there. You get hated on, even though you will over there too, but it's a whole new perspective you look at life from. But over there, it's, it's really bad. You can hardly breathe. In the south node. But when you get over to the other side. Or you make the choice to grow. To evolve. To heal. 
to look at all the tests that they only come to make you stronger. Think about the Olympics. All these athletes, the things they had to go through to put their body through. To make sure that they make the cut. Because you have other people that they had to compete with in their country. They didn't just go through like that. They had to compete to make it over here. And some of them, they're still going to run with other people and compete to see if they make the cut again. So it, that's how it is. It, as above, so below. So this is why the race is not for the swift. It's not for the strong, but it's for those who endure to the end. This is why many are called, but few are chosen. It's about those tests. How you choose to do, to take your tests. And again, not everybody's going to pass on the first go around. But again, it's the ability to be knocked down nine times and get back up ten. At the end of the day, nobody will even know how many times you fail unless you tell them. Do you know how many people fail things on their first try around? Nobody knows. Because at the end of the day, you have the qualification, you have the certificate, you know, you, you have whatever it is to show. So it's like, unless you share in your testimony, you don't have to go back there. So it's like, don't worry about how many times you have to take the test. Just don't give up on yourself. Do 